The Jim Strickland era is coming to a close in Memphis, at least in the mayor's office, with the mayoral election just four months away. Thank you so much for joining us for Action News 5 at 4.30. Joining us live in studio is Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland with a look back on his time as mayor of the Bluff City and a look toward the city's future. Mayor Strickland, thanks so much for joining us today. Well, thanks for having me. First of all, with about six months left in office, what are some things you still hope to accomplish before your time is up? Well, a couple things. Uh, first, uh, the uh, large uh, redo of our sports stadiums. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we're not going to complete the uh, work, uh, but I want agreements with the Grizzlies, the university, bid out the work to the contractors so that the next mayor, uh, all, he has, all he or she has to do is construction. All right. Is that, you consider that your greatest accomplishment in office, or are there others that you think? Oh, are? I think uh, there's so many others. I think we've uh, and uh, improved so many city services. For instance, mm -hmm. our fire department for the first time since the 1960s is rated ISO 1, which is the uh, rating agency. It means top 1% of the country for the first time since the 1960s. Our, our libraries, uh, we expanded hours in programming mm -hmm. and they won the equivalent of the Oscar uh, in the library industry. Uh, every service that we've had full control over, um, uh, I think we've improved. Uh, obviously the challenge that we have, we don't have full control over it, is, is crime. Right, right. Well, you know, as they say, hindsight is twenty twenty. So is there anything that you would have maybe done differently at this point now? I'm sure there is. I really am, because I, I, I make mistakes like everyone else. <laughs> uh, but I don't have it off the top of my head because I don't focus on the things done and in addition to the uh, sports stadiums uh, we're trying to get some it, we're trying to get broadband a deal for broadband throughout our community uh, so there's there's still things we're working on we're recruiting hard for police officers and firefighters right. with a 14 percent raise this year for the first time in a long time we're the highest paid in the area wow. for our fighter fires firefighters and, and and police officers and uh, they ought to be highest paid for right. sure, but it's taken us a while to get there. And but that gives us something to sell. Uh, we've improved the pay, benefits, promotions, and we're out there recruiting hard. All right. So where do you hope the next mayor of Memphis puts their focus? He or she puts their focus in the coming years. Obviously, crime prevention mm -hmm. and 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 driving down crime is our number one challenge. Uh, and uh, at, whether I want them to do that or not, they're going to have to focus on that area. I do believe the best days of Memphis are ahead of us. Mm -hmm. I, we have really good people running for mayor, uh, and uh, there's always more work to do. But I think we've we've left uh, city government better than we found it, as I think every mayor is supposed to. And we'll I think the next mayor will continue building forward. Right. And we've talked a lot about crime. And it's just one of those issues that seems to be hard to get your arms around. What do you think uh, should be the next steps for the next mayor as far as fighting crime in the city? Well, I, uh, unfortunately, it's not in the mayor's control, what I right. think is the problem. I, the problem, in my opinion, short-term problem, is the court system not detaining enough violent criminals and 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 also uh, car thieves to be honest with mm -hmm. you uh, I think uh, more focus needs to be placed on that and you have to detain them so that there's a deterrent for committing those acts if the courts are a revolving door there's no deterrent for the so the mayor only can be a mouthpiece on that issue and maybe try to get some state law change in the long run we have to invest more in children and we've done that we've improved our programming mm -hmm. increased the volume of children but we have to keep doing it every child in memphis should have an opportunity for an after school activity in their school at least in middle and high school right. every single one of them and we're working our way toward that but there's a lot of room to grow okay so what are your plans for after you leave the mayor's office I have none. Uh, I'm thinking about <laughs> a long a, vacation. A long vacation, <laughs> and then maybe a reporter here uh, out oh, in the field. Oh, we can put you in City Hall. WMC. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining thank us today. You. Really appreciate it, and uh, for coming in and talking to us about your tenure here as mayor of the City of Memphis. Thanks, Kim. Thank you. Mayor Jim Strickland. Right now we're going to turn things over to the mayor of meteorology, Spencer Denton, for our first alert forecast check. Hi, Spencer. 